What is up, guys? It's Scott with NeverHedge back for another MMAT update, and today is a good day. We're up uh, 41 and a half cents on the day, uh, down a little bit from our high at 7.95, but we're working our way back up. I think we could get back up to the high of the day by uh, by market close today. Uh, RSI is looking great at 52.59. MACDs are looking just fine. Do have uh, something really important I want to get to uh, regarding this merger and the shorts and the potential for a squeeze here. So let's get right into that right now. So this is, uh, I came across this a couple of days ago and I'm uh, just getting to it right now. So buy and hold, T plus 21. And the FTD cycle, reposting for visibility. This is the same post that had bop, bop, bop. This is what the hedgies don't want you to know. By Jude is not obscure. All right. MMAT is a great company with a bright future. If you're long MMAT, you may not be aware that this could be part of a short squeeze. Gross, I know. We don't like meme words like ape or squeeze over here. TRCH issued a special dividend before the reverse merger, and TRCH was heavily shorted. I believe the special dividend is the key to a potential short squeeze. The CUSIP change from the re reverse merger is the icing on the cake. This DD centers around fails to deliver FDDs and how they play into the T plus 21 settlement cycle that we are currently seeing with heavily shorted stocks. So first, what is an FTD? An FTD is when one party in a contract fails to deliver on their end. In our example, this is the short hedge funds failing to deliver the shares they borrowed and shorted. They haven't bought them back at a loss yet because they have a plan. Fail to deliver now and buy later once they get the price down. So, what is a T plus 21? T plus 21 refers to the 20 day, 21 day settlement cycle. Most of us should be familiar with the T plus two settlement cycle. That's the reason uh, you needed to be in before close on 622 to have shares for the dividend on uh, 624. So I covered that in previous videos. Uh, this is the T plus 21. It refers to the 21 day time between FTD and when the trade must be settled. Uh, so this is the rule 204 that is cited here. Closeout requirement rule 204 requires brokers and dealers and participants or that are participants of a registered clearing agency to take action, close out the failure to, to deliver position. Closing out requires a broker or dealer to purchase or borrow securities of like kind and quantity. Participant must close out a failure to deliver for short sale transaction by no later than the beginning of a regular trading hours on the settlement day following the settlement date referred to as the T plus four. If a participant has failed has a failure to deliver that the participant can demonstrate on its books and records resulted from a long sale or that is attributable to a bona fide market making activities, the participant must close out the failure to deliver by no later than the beginning of regular trading hours on the third consecutive settlement day following the settlement date referred to as the T plus six. Now, in addition, rule 203B3 of regulation show requires that participants of a registered clearing agency must immediately purchase shares to close out failures to deliver in securities with large and persistent failures to deliver referred to as threshold securities if failures to deliver persist for 13 consecutive consecutive settlement days threshold securities are equity security do, do, do. all right so what is a CUSIP a CUSIP number is an identifier used to show the issuer and type of security when this gets changed the shares being converted Converted must be closed out. So this is very important for this merger because TRCH was very heavily shorted and now the shorts must close out their short positions at a loss. This case of TRCH and MMAT is very similar to a case that happened with Overstock when they issued a dividend in cryptocurrency. Uh, the special dividend caused overstock to short squeeze this short squeeze took nearly three months to peak as you can see midway through each t21 cycle there's a sharp rise and the end of each cycle shows a rise followed by a flat spot so here we go rise flat spot rise flat spot rise dip and then big rise up here to the peak at 719% gain. Papa George seems keen on destroying shorts. We so made the same play by issuing the special dividend. This could cause a more compacted squeeze timeline. Failure to deliver is covered with any available resource other than the share. Crypto can't be bought 
and used to cover a dividend. That's why this play is better than the overstock play. It was also noted that the dividend was paid out pre-reverse split. That means any fails on the dividend should be compounded by the reverse split since they were already issues. Expectations, I just want to get this information out so people have... So the first FTD from the dividend already happened. So we are on the clock starting 624. This is the important part. 624, which per, puts our first T plus 21 at 723. QSIP F, FTDs for the merger create back-to-back -back FTD cycles within two trading days. This is huge. The first T21 dividend followed immediately by a T21 QSIP. Mix this with any bullish news and the shorts will be torched. Back-to-back -to -back T21s for FTDs 723 and 727. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. This, uh, this pretty thoroughly blew my mind when i when i read this the first time and uh i am this post uh blew my mind pretty thoroughly the first time i read it and i will be setting my calendar alarm for uh 723 that is our first t plus 21 date and we will uh we'll see how this plays out as always guys please make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more updates on MMAT, as well as other stocks and tokens we like. And I thank you guys so much for watching this far, and I'll see you in the next video.